kasama natin ngayong umaga si Executive Director Tess Cucueco ng DOLE sa sa Occupational Safety and Health Center office nila. Uh, Carla, netong recently lang, and ma'am, netong recently lang, ay nagkaroon po ng incident no, um, sa Pililia Rizal kung saan uh, meron pong limang uh, trabahador na namatay dahil sa isang aksidente. Ano po yung details na pwede nyo pong ibigay dito? Um, last week, nung Sunday, ano, last uh, one week ago, uh, may smokestack in mm -hmm. a company that was being the smokestack was being repaired so may scaffoldings na erect inside the smokestack uh -huh. and uh, there was an incident which resulted in the tragical death of five workers who were working in the repair of the smokestack so habang nandun sila sa scaffolding kasi ongoing yung investigation tinitingnan talaga kung anong nangyari at bumigay mm -hmm. ang scaffolding may mga namatay, lima ngayon, at may mga nasugatan pa. Mm -hmm. So, I think it around 12 uh, workers were injured. and then, right. So, hindi lang po yung lima yung... No, no. Hindi there were still yung injuries. Yung oo. Ha? And, um, again, there was... Kasi ito yung sinasabi nga namin, ang kaligtasan ay napaka-importante. Dahil may... Uh, hindi lang magawang pamamaraan para malagay yung kaligtasan, yung may prioridad ang kaligtasan. Mm -hmm. Isang malaking trahedya talaga ang pwedeng mangyari. Yes, Ma'am, mm -hmm. Ma paano naman kayo tumutulong dun sa mga pamilya ng, ng, ng mga nasawi? Unang-una, no, right after the incident, the Department of Labor uh, mobilized an investigating team to look into the accident to determine what caused it and how, you know, the liabilities of those who should be accountable from The, from the employers, the contractors, kasi ano, um, yung repair na yun, parang it was contracted to mm -hmm. uh, uh, those who can do that kind of a job. Okay. So, after the Dolly put in the investigating team, we, the accident investigation started. So, by then, may isang ahensya din ng Department of Labor, and tinatawag doon yung Employees Compensation Commission, na tum tumunta sa mga nasawi at saka sa mga na, na aksidente yung nasugatan para ma, ma sabi nila yung mga pwede nilang matanggap from the SSS and okay. from the EC. So may benefits mm -hmm. yan eh. After a work accident, uh, of course, this is so, you know, it is already, kumbaga, um, benepito, beneficio. Yung, you know, it's a, yung, yung What we don't like kasi yung aksidente mangyari. Yes, ma'am. But yes. when it does happen, the, the workers can get something. Their families can also have benefits. Uh, then that's the employee's compensation because they are compensated after the injury. Or This is difficult because there is a fatality. There are fatalities. But then, um, even for the injured workers, there are also the benefits as well mm -hmm. from the SSS and the employee's compensation. So, na-coordinate na to sa pamilya ng mga nasugatan at nasawi. Is there any difference, ma'am, uh, kunyari, kasi I understand that this is a special uh, contract kasi construction workers po ito, uh -huh. di ba? Hindi po sila regular na empleyado sa isang kumpanya. Is there any difference uh, sa isang regular na empleyado as opposed sa isang construction worker uh, pagating po sa safety benefits or safety standards sa trabaho? Wala. Wala, ma'am. Oo, oh, wala. wala. It so, claro po all. yan sa ating uh -huh. mga viewers, no, na pwede, uh, pwede, meron po kayong benefits na pwedeng i Oh. Uh, na-aksidente kayo kahit oh, oh. construction worker. worker. Kasi regular silang empleyado dun sa contractor. Right. Yes. Oh, they're employees okay. of the contractor. So their benefits should also be paid. Mm -hmm. Like the SSS. Kung hindi man nabayaran ng contractor ang SSS, pwedeng ano eh, ang 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 hahabol sa contractor. Right. Right. But then the benefits will still be given. Mm -hmm. yes. So ang contractor po ang liable dito For sa, the benefits, sa, ito, sa benefits. Sa benefits. Let sa me benefits, not, yeah. yes. Let us just, ano, because The accident, uh, like I said, uh, it's still being investigated. Mm -hmm. Accountabilities are still being also looked into. Right. Yes. Uh -huh. Ma'am, of course, we want to avoid these things. No? So, kamusta naman yung Zero Accident Program? Okay. The Zero Accident Program is our campaign in the DOLE to promote safety and health in all workplaces. Okay. Whether it's, you know, from the uh, very formal sectors, like we see the big bu the big businesses, mm. yes. or even for the informal sectors, like maski yung vendors, mga yung nagtitindo dyan, may safety and health component yan, para hindi sila mag 
ma masugatan, hindi sila mga aksidente, hindi sila magkasakit. So the Zero Accident Program is, is an advocacy for safety and health. Safety and health is prevention actually. Eh. It right. is our campaign for prevention. Mm -hmm. Because when we talk of safety and health, we talk of all the mechanisms where workers not be injured nor will become sick because of their work. So it encompasses, of course, uh, you have the standards, you have enforcement. There are, there are the laws mm -hmm. that should be followed. Yes. We, have, we call them the safety and health standards. And then we also go into ad our advocacy in terms of training. Workers should be trained. There are safety officers who should be present in companies by law. And mm -hmm. these safety officers should have the re required training. And then for very, and then for like for construction, the very highly hazardous, there are still orientation or awareness courses for the workers themselves. Then aside from training, we do services. Okay. Uh, we look into the personal equipment, the hard hats, the spectacles, mm -hmm. the gloves. We ensure that uh, we we test them to ensure that the when the workers wear these, uh, we call them PPEs or personal protection. Hindi. Uh, they will be protected right because yes. there are substandard mm -hmm. you know it's supposed to put like hard hats it's supposed to protect them from impact of falling objects e kung substandard yun, mm -hmm. eh kung mm -hmm. oh. so these are things that we take spectacles gloves safety shoes as well so and then fast uh, we all we do uh, massive information dissemination including working with media and that's why we are grateful to Channel 4, Salamat to you, Jason, din, Carla, and to all the listeners, where we can continue uh, giving you information and stressing safety and health in everything that we do. Mm -hmm. So, and then of course we also have networks in all regions now nationwide. We have partners on safety and it's called the Safety and Health Networks. Okay. So this is really a full-blown campaign, ma'am, uh, yes. for zero accident. For zero accident. Kailan pa po ito nagsimula? Uh, sa, uh, sa actually, the, the Zero Accident Program or ZAP. It started in the early 90s. All right. Uh -oh. So, matagal na rin. Matagal na rin, oo. Uh -huh. But um, we have made, we continue the advocacy, we continue the campaign. Ito nga eh, when we see uh, accidents and incidents like this, it just makes us, ano, uh, uh, it, it makes our commitment and our resolve stronger. Mm -hmm. That we have to do something more. Right. There is still issues to be addressed. Here, we are reviewing our standards as well. Mm -hmm. Standards in scaffolding. Yes. Because we took a look at it. I mean, and then um, we kumbaga, there are certain rules that have to be updated already. Mm -hmm. So it is really an ongoing uh, safety and health is an ongoing campaign. It's an ongoing commitment, and it's kumbaga, it, it continues to evolve. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, you, you talk about these uh, standards. Uh, what are some examples, siguro ma'am? No? Okay, I'm sure there are many. No? Okay. So maybe just uh, some examples po ng standards, the standards. For, okay. for safety and, and health. health. Okay. Um, do you know that all companies should have okay, a safety officer? Safety officer, so, oh, oh, It Who depends is, on uh, the number. an engineer ba? Oh, no, no, ano no, ano not necessarily. Mm -hmm. What we're saying is, that safety officer should have undergone a 40-hour training All right. on basic safety and health. Mm -hmm. okay. So, uh, he could be a graduate of any discipline or maski skilled worker yan. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, from the five-day safety and health training course, have the certificate and then we pushed, uh, there, there, no, it's not a push, but we, there is another accreditation process in the DOLE. All they should be accredited by the Department of Labor because what is required is that they should be accredited safety practitioners right. or safety officers. Mm -hmm. So that is one. It is a requirement. Next, a safety and health committee. Mm -hmm. All establishments. It's very basic. But what's in the safety and health committee? Re management is represented. Workers are represented. You have the safety officer. You have health personnel, maski, if it's small, ano, maski first aider, mm -hmm. and then um, other workers' representatives. And this committee, it, is, it should be a functioning committee. Oh, yeah. They should okay. meet regularly. They should discuss the safety and health uh, issues and the programs that should be implemented. And there are employers' responsibilities. Mm -hmm. It's in the standards. What are these responsibilities of the employer? Ay, yung pagbibigay ng PPE. Employer yun, mm -hmm. hindi worker. Pero meron din workers' responsibilities. Number one, kung binigyan ka ng PPE, isuot mo yun. All right. Kasi marami yeah. workers na binigay mo na um, hindi, 
in, sila in, mismo in, yung oh, sumasawa. Oo, oh, oh, uh, hindi pa nila sinusot kasi unang-una mainit daw, mabigat mm-hmm. daw, okay naman daw sila. <laughs> Oh, or sabihin na, siguro ilang taon ko na itong ginagawa oh, tapos kayang, hindi kayang. kailangan yan <laughs> we, oh. we have those stories and yes. it is sad and then something happens and that's right. hard uh, y- yung ganon Ma- and, yeah, yes. go ahead oh. na. ma'am paano naman natin in-insure na talagang lahat ng standards ay natusok, nasusunod, nasusunod. Okay. parang may checking ba monthly that's why or? we have in- an inspector an enforcement system ah, okay, okay there are inspectors in the dole uh, they're within the regional offices so we have regions from the north down to the south 16 regions with offices and provincial offices as well and um, they're called now the uh, labor law compliance officers mm-hmm. for the longest time medyo konti lang kasi itong inspectors okay. that, that that's why kumbaga we prioritize industries lang na ma-inspect kasi hindi talaga magagawa there's around 700,000 na dapat ini-inspect and you only had in the ano, like 200 something inspectors. Wow, okay. So maski hindi na sila matulog, wala nang weekend, hindi pa nila ma-inspect lahat. Um, their uh, President Aquino has granted Dole uh, with DBM funding another 300 plus inspectors. All right. So all in all now we're going we will be having 500 and there are that's why there will now be more of these um, inspectors or the labor laws compliance officers that will be fielded. And these are the officers to look into the standards. But let me also inform you, the thrust of DOLE is not enforcement to punish. What we're doing now is, let us see why you're not complying, then let us help you comply. Kumbaga, is, there's a developmental approach, of course, up to a certain extent, ano? Right. Uh, and uh, uh, meron pa penalties, I'm oh, sure, oh, um, oh, if, oh. You, if you If you really still, I know, like, there are the, yung, what, what uh, the a majority of the companies are small and medium. They do have, and, you know, their, their, their concerns in complying with the standards. Mm-hmm. What we're saying is, there are, you know, we will help you in compliance. So that uh, you will at the, you will comply with safety and health standards, the labor laws, and you will not really have any. You know, it, it will be more productive in the end for your for the company for the uh, establishment. Ma'am, there is also a standard um, as far as we know the work environment uh, measurement. Is, is this a standard or yes, is there this are a, yes. This is a method. The, it is a method, mm-hmm. but it is also required by the standard. All right. Okay. Uh-huh. Like if you are working in a chemical industry. Um, you have to know, or maski hindi chemical, like sa semicon, mm-hmm. where lead is being used to coat... Which is poisonous, it, no, ma'am? Yeah, where it is, yeah, we, yeah the, there are effects of lead to the body. Mm-hmm. It's not going to appear tomorrow. It's going to appear after several years. Right. And that is when the worker is already a little bit older. Yes. His, uh, even, you know, his, his body mechanisms, you know, it's already aggravated by the, the lead that is inside. So, well, what what is, well, work environment measurement does is that we uh, measure of lead in air in the workplace because okay. there are standards for that it should be less than this level mm-hmm. because it was established that at this level of lead in the air nine a majority of workers can be exposed without adverse effects so it's at that level that is ready maximum okay, maximum ma'am. so what you're working is that it does not go beyond that you, it, it is definitely better that levels are lower or kung baga wala kang madetect that mm-hmm. was really be the best kasi yes. may right. control measures naman but that is work environment you measure lead we measure noise yung ingay lang dapat not more than 90 decibels for 8 hours kasi again like uh, the uh, chemicals that cause disease yung ingay hindi naman hindi ka naman bukas mabibingi tama ma'am it will happen Eventually, in yes. several years afterwards and this is sometimes you go into a work where hearing it becomes very vital have you you know workers who cannot hear are dif- mahirap na yon tama ma'am so Actually, uh, dun sa, sorry ma'am oh, uh, yes, yes go ahead oh. tungkol din dun sa hearing meron na hong uh, kilala na, na security the UP yeah. na after years of service no am dahil maingay doon oh. sa 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 hall ng building oh, re- sa hall lang sa hall lang yeah. hall okay. lang ng building kasi mga estudyante yeah. to eh yeah. diba? na, na naglalaka diba after years of service sobrang bumaba talaga yung uh, hearing ability niya oh. As, oh. which is you know uh, really sad diba kasi you you offered your years of service to, yeah. to get this and then, yeah and then, and then eventually yun na nga sinasabi namin 
and that is why we promote safety and health you start with a healthy worker mm -hmm. what we want is that when you retire you are still you know in 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 ways possible still healthy yes to continue re life after retirement marami kasi when they retire they're sick mm -hmm. the retirement goes to buy medicines or to put or to save not for their next operation right. of an operation mm -hmm. kung baga um, and this is now moving into another campaign like for lifestyle mm -hmm. we know the hazards at work we're trying to address this but then hazards where the worker himself or you or me we we intentionally put ourselves at risk like to the smokers mm -hmm. to those who do not eat properly after several years and that is again when um, uh, we are already old the body's uh, defenses have also been weakened or even damaged more mm -hmm. so what we're saying now is even now that lifestyle is becoming a very important component like we have, yeah, this one is I know uh, the increasing incidence of hypertension or high blood diabetes lifestyle kasi din mm -hmm. yan eh hindi na tayo nag exercise mm -hmm. we try and we are continuing that uh, push for uh, an improvement of uh, of lifestyle practices mm -hmm. okay Ma'am, uh, tuloy pa rin po ba yung gawad, kaligtasan? Okay, and yeah, that one is the last component of our yes. ZAP, yes. Right. where we are now award. There are many companies who have exemplary safety and health programs. They've been Can implementing you, is this. Is it okay to cite some of, course, of them? Of course, you know, sana I gave you pounders. We have, November, the awarding, the top companies were of... Um, ang parating na nanalo yung energy companies mm -hmm. eh, because maybe interesting yeah, yeah energy but you can understand they really have very strict safety right. regulations right. and they have to comply with that mm -hmm. so nanalo isang energy comp uh, like team uh, uh, team energy I think if I'm not mm -hmm. mistaken team energy Toshiba for the manufacturing right. and uh I, I, I forget the third then there are other winners as well like for the automotive Toyota and Ford, mm -hmm. but the, um, kung baga, they, their category is not as high compared uh, to, to, to the, the, third, energy, the first three, uh, yeah, the, the energy companies. and Toshiba. So, these, uh, these were winners for the Gawad Kaligtasan and Kalusugan. Mm -hmm. and Actually, ma'am, I was, I was wondering, um, you know, Carla, kasi nandito na rin tayo, di ba? And I'm sure medyo may ID, kaya nyong i-apply agad yung work environment measurement. Anong tingin nyo dito, ma'am, sa Quezon Memorial Circle? Is, is this a safe <laughs> mo, place to work in? Workplace, na ano eh, na may nature and the air. Right. Kung baga nadidilute, and it's a beautiful place. Uh -huh. Kung baga, maski ba may, may lead o may nadidilute ng air. Mm -hmm. So when you take the measurements, um, there's the dilution factor. So you can it, compare it to a workplace na nako confine ng walls. Right. Mm -hmm. And then hihingahin na lang yan ng workers. So yeah. it's more ano. Um, but here maybe the heat. The heat is for the construction sa, workers, uh -huh. huh? Uh, the heat uh, where workers have to be in that area, they will have strenuous activities, pagbubuhat, tapos mm -hmm. ang init-init. May dehydration component din yan. Mm -hmm. May heat stroke heat exhaustion. Mm -hmm. So, again, that is So, it's really not that related. simple, no? It, no. And we're, we're lucky to have uh, Ma'am Tess Cuecueco because she is actually, uh, hindi ko nasabi kanina, but she is actually a medical doctor, okay. no? Um, who can really uh, uh, test uh, standards of, of health in yeah, workplaces. Yeah, and now that we know what is being done to keep us safe, sana mm -hmm. naman sumunod rin tayo. Kama yes. Para sa atin rin naman. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank, Thank you then so much for inviting us over. Jason, to all the listeners of Channel 4. Uh, talagang ang, ang aming um, mission po ay ang pagpapatupad at pagtitingin sa inyong kal kaligtasan at kalusugan. Ngayon ho, nag-umpisa pa ang lunes, nag-umpisa ang trabaho, siguraduhin ho natin na ating mga ginagawa ay ligtas mm -hmm. at uh, hindi natin um, isinasawalang bahala ang ating kaligtasan. Kung meron kayong gustong katanungan tungkol sa inyong kaligtasan at kalusugan, pwede ho naman ho kayong tumawag sa amin sa so Occupational Safety and Health Center 929-603-6239 May website din po kami mm -hmm. www.oshc.dole.gov.ph Doon ho makikita nyo na rin yung email namin You can contact us anytime Maraming maraming salamat Thank you very much